Good day everybody, this is BA Ready and Dawn, and we are back with another basically part two of the refine testing for because the last time it was Dual I Dune, mainly to see if she could survive Brave Erika. This time it's Nagi, and not just one version of Nagi. I am testing three versions of Nagi. We got the Nagi Refine build, which is Special Fighter 4, Scowl, Far Save, Distant Counter, and the Refine. We've got the Arcane Un Unity build, where it's Defense Res Unity, it's the Arcane Breath, and Special Fighter 4. And um, each of the specials for is all Flow, uh, Armored Flow. And the last one is kind of a hybrid between the two builds, where it's Arcane Scowl. So you've got Arcane, you've got the Arcane Breath, you've got Attack Res Scowl, you've got Dragon Wall, you've got the DC se uh, Seal, and you've got the Armored Flow as usual. Now the reason why I wanted to discuss, why I wanted to look into this and do a lot of testing that you're seeing on the left hand side here, is because oh, this has been kind of contested for a while as to which is truly better. I've been saying the Arcane Breath Nagi version is superior. I've had people contest me on that. So this is where we're finally gonna see, once and for all, like in the title, which is truly better. Refine versus Arcane. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, video and the playtesting. And um, I'm gonna kinda, I'll see you guys later. When I need to talk about something, I'll pop back in. See you in a bit. So, as you guys can kind of see from the video on the left hand side here and down below, the Refine is in a pretty solid lead currently, and I'm um, not quite sure how to handle that. I might just be wrong here. I might have been wrong the entire time. So far it looks like with no support at all, the Refine handedly does better than the arcane or the other arcane basically the arcane unity or arcane scowl and honestly that is fair i mean the arcane builds are mainly with more support so it makes sense that the refine handles by itself better than the others because like we got like all the way down for the happy builds, happy dies to each version, but the the refine tanks the best for happy, for Chrom. The refine handles Chrom the best here. Hinoka, Hinoka's an outlier. I'm gonna tell you guys now. Hinoka's gonna destroy every version of Nagi. There's no point trying to tank Hinoka. Hinoka's gonna shred her every single time, which is freaking crazy, by the way, because. Nagi can get tanky, dude. But Hinoka just shreds her. It's so funny. Uh, Shez dies in every situation, but she has the most HP left against the... Like, uh, Nagi has the most HP left with the refine. Uh, Veronica... Actually, the only version of Veronica that... Like, the only version of Nagi that doesn't die to Veronica is actually Arcane Scowl version, which is very surprising to me. Uh, Haether is, like, pretty interesting. 
Nagi's getting KO'd. But, this is the interesting thing. The version that almost kills Haether the best is the Arcane Scowl. And then Legendary Deirdre, we've got 19 HP, 10 HP, KO. So it seems like in every instance except Veronica and Haether, the Nagi Refine does better. But against, but when it comes to, go to going against those two, actually the Arcane Scowl is better. And I was like kind of rooting for the uh, Arcane Unity and the Arcane Unity did not win a single match. So like, you gotta look at this from uh, Nagi's perspective, right? What is she left with? How is she tanking these? Who is she killing, right? So like, the refine kills, ev ev every version kills Happy. Um, only the refine kills Krom. Uh, Hinoka just murders everything. Shez dies to everything, but has the most HP, but Nagi has the most HP with the refine. Veronica, Haythor, both have the, like, Nagi does better when it comes to the Arcane Scowl. So that's very interesting. So already we're kind of seeing a difference here where the refine's not better all the way through. The refine is not winning this, like, straight across the board. There's two instances out of six. Seven? Seven. Two instances out of seven that the refine is actually doing worse. So already that's interesting and away to the next one okay now it's time to continue on with the asker support so it's the exact same units as before basically except instead of alphonse who is doing nothing we have duo asker providing the usual lovely resonance shields and blades effect so now we're going to see how that adds up with the refine with the Arcane Unity and with the Arcane Scowl builds from the previous video. So we're just adding one extra unit, we're adding Duo Asker, and we're kind of just seeing what the differences are all the way through. So just like before, I'm gonna pop off and see you guys in a bit. Okay, so uh, just so you guys know that we are going in order. So there's uh, technically three different uh, battles going on here. It's the, for each of these mini portions, it's the Refine and then the Arcane and then the Arcane Scowl. So when it comes to dual Asker support, this is, um, this is actually fascinating to me, is currently, it looks like the Refine is still in the lead but the arcane and you, the arcane builds are starting to catch up a bit. Like, Krom's doing a little bit more damage. He's doing a little bit more stuff to the Unity ver or the arc the refined version, which is very very interesting to me. Uh, Hinoka's still shredding, so that's not a surprise. So before it was Legendary Veronica and Haether were the only outliers. And we're gonna see if anything changed really, so. We have 
happy still getting annihilated all the way through. I'm very surprised Nagi can just eat through happy with zero difficulty. That's insane to me. But, I mean, this is AoE happy, so I'd expect this, honestly. But anyway, um... So yeah, of course, Refine Nagi does the best versus AoE. That will out... I'm, we're, I'm positive this will always be the case. Um, Krom dies to both the Scowl, Arcane, and the Refine. Which is very, very fascinating to me. Um, so the only one where Nagi dies is with the Arcane Unity build. Which is kind of crazy, honestly. And when it comes to Hanoka, Hanoka just shreds. So like, we're starting to see a tie when it comes to the duo Krom. Nagi walks out of the fight better with the refine, but she still kills in both scenarios, which is interesting. Um, Shez just, Shez always dies as well, but no, the refine has the most HP there. Uh, Veronica, the Arcane Unity build got shredded, while the refine and the Arcane Scowl are both doing pretty good. Uh, Haether, kind of the same situation actually. There we go. So, Haether now can only dies to the Arcane Scowl version. The Nagi Refine loses, or the Nagi uh, Arcane Unity build loses to Haether. And then like, so yeah, this is very interesting. Cause like, do we want Nagi to walk away with more HP? Or do we want to get the kill? I, I give points to the kill before anything else. So this is a straight up win for the Scowl version. And then Arcane does the worst so far still. The Arcane Unity. And then Deirdre, 49, 43. Arcane Scowl gets the kill there. So, things have shifted before where it was like Veronica and Haether, where the Arcane was better, and now with the Asker's support, the Deirdre matchup is getting won by the Arcane Scowl. The Haether matchup is getting won by the Arcane Scowl. The Veronica matchup shifted to being the Refine winning. Shez is refine hanoka is just hanoka is not fair uh duochrome it's a tie in terms of kills so like this we basically swapped veronica for chrome really so like that's that's not too bad that's not too bad okay so for this matchup, we got the Asker and Robin support combo for Nagi. So now we're getting more support heavy, and it's kind of starting to show. So like before, it was like like basically th two to three matches swung in the Arcane Scowls um, way. So the refund wasn't even winning all the way through from the first battle portion. Now it's starting to look a little worse. So the AoE, of course, is, like, AoE Happy is still getting dis destroyed by Nagi Refine. Like, Nagi Refine is built for AoE, so it's kind of an unfair fight, but I love to use AoE Happy. I love to throw her against something to see how she does, and the answer is not that good against Nagi. <laughs> not that good against Nagi's Refine. Uh, Duo Krom is still a tie, but Nagi walks out of, Nagi Refine walks out of that a little bit healthier than Arcane Scowl does. And Legendary Hanoka is still shredding regardless. So we got AoE Happy is still, like, Nagi Refine's taking that. T uh, Nagi Refine's technically taking Duo Chrome. Hanoka is just destroying everything. Uh, Legendary Shez. Now this is where the Unity and the, um, what am I thinking of? This is where the Unity and the Duo Aska support is really coming in clutch. Because as it sits right now, 
we have the legendary Shez matchup. The Nagi Arcane Unity is winning that. Like, pretty handedly. Well, not pretty handedly, barely. It's like three points of HP more than Nagi Refund, but it's still winning. The Veronica matchup looks better with the Nagi Arcane Unity. It's just tanking Veronica better. The Haether matchup looks way better. Not only is Haether dying, but Nagi's coming out of it basically unscathed. And the Legendary Deer Jar matchup is way better too. So we went from th th two or three matchups where the Refine's losing, and now we're at a tie for one for Duo Chrome. That it's and the Refine's losing Shez, losing Veronica, losing Haether, losing Deirdre. So we went from one, like two losses, maybe three, to five, basically. Well, four and a tie. So it's not looking good for the refine here, okay? It's not looking good. The refine's still winning in the AoE category, and that's really about it. And Duochrome. Any other category, basically the last four, are just... The refine's not performing nearly as well as I think anyone was expecting it to. So that is one win for the Arcane Unity, two wins for Arcane Unity, three wins for Arcane Unity, four wins for Arcane Unity, one win for Refine, and a half win for Refine because it's still a tie match. But I think if you threw all of these units back to back to back to back to back, the Refine's gonna fall. The and the the arcane unity is gonna stand out, and it's gonna be still standing at the end of it all, unless um, Chrom has something to say about it. Like if you if you just remove Chrom, do everyone else? I well and and Hanoka. Basically, if you do these five and these five. The the unity is gonna perform way better than the refine, but like, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, Nagi Refine is beating, is winning the AoE Happy category and technically kind of the Duo Chrome category. But the Shez, Veronica, Haether, Deirdre matchups are all being won by the Arcane Unity. So it's, it's changed up a bit. It's changed up a bit. Okay, so for the... What initially was going to be the last matchup, and I actually wanted to do one more trial run after this, so this is the second last matchup. This is the one that I called max support before I actually realized what true max support meant. So this is Aversa. So basically, all the units are getting panicked and debuffed, and they cannot use dual buttons or shenanigans to help themselves out of it. Because the other team's not, so why should they? But anyway, um, yeah, this is interesting to say the least. I'm actually very surprised with these results. I love this to bits. So as like before, the refine is winning in the AOE happy category. Chrom dies in every category now. Doesn't matter if it's refine, arcane unity, or arcane scowl. Chrom is getting shredded in every which way which is fantastic. So not even the Refine has that niche anymore. The Refine lost the niche. Everyone can survive Duochrome now. Everyone can survive Happy. Everyone can survive Shez. Now, I do have to admit there is a point where that the Arcane Breath, of course, has an HP boost, and we should factor that in. But the fact that it has a higher HP threshold and a higher res or defense or however you want to do it makes the arcane breath a lot more versatile so we're counting that because more hp is also more defense at the end of the day so you can boost hp you can boost defense you can boost res you can boost whatever with the arcane breath that is a point in the arcane breath's favor so just putting that out there right so the refines winning in the happy category Tie all around for the Krom. Technically, the Refine has the most HP remaining afterwards, but... Sure. So that's still, I guess that's still up one point, one and a half points there. 
And the Shez matchup doesn't really matter much, but the Refine has more HP. Oh, not the Refine, the Arcane has more HP. And Veronica, the Arcane has more HP remaining. And Haether, more HP remaining. And Deirdre, just more HP in general. So, like, it's still a solid four wins for the Arcane Unity. The Arcane Unity can tank the Happy matchup pretty damn well and can survive the Krom. So, like, one and a half points for the Refine, four points for the Arcane Unity. And if you look all the way down, too, even the mixed version still isn't really doing much. It, like, the Arcane Scowl is not a very optimal build. It's an option, but it's not great. And the results show. But yeah, overall, this is like... The second you the second we added Robin support, the refine started falling off really, really hard. Which is a shame, because I know a lot of people really like the refine. They swear by the refine. But the more support you add, the better the arcane unity becomes. Because the, the problem is the refine has a threshold. The refine can only get so many cap stats capped. The problem is, in my opinion, that the refine has a cap and the unity doesn't really have a cap. Because of the whole grand strategy from Robin thing, right? Like, that is a massive stat swing. And basically what we're seeing is it's better to take zero damage than five. Which makes sense, right? The refine's thing, the refine's niche is all about damage reduction. And damage reduction, and damage reduction, survive. It's not mainly built to kill, it's mainly built to sit there and tank. Which is fair. I just like my units to do both. But, the question becomes, would you rather take 50% of 10 damage, or would you rather take 0? I would rather take 0, personally. But, that's just me. So now that we've like solidly seen that the second Robin is added to the equation, the refine kind of far up, falls off a bit, which honestly I'm not surprised by considering the whole purpose of Robin is to be the best support unit. So if you're a tank and you can't utilize the best support unit in the game, you're not really a very great tank. You can do stuff, but you're held back. The Arcane Unity build is not held back. It is embracing Robin with open arms and just loving him to bits. Now this was the extra matchup that I really wanted to see because I was very curious about how it would do. Of course, this is with the, this is against the Refine, but like, it's 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 interesting, right? So the main thing is I added Legendary Elliewood. And the build is a bit different. Let me show you. Let me see if I can get the... Because I forget the exact build I used for this. Let's see. I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna figure it out by using my, my by using Faye itself. <laughs> I think we were up to here. So yeah, like it's, it's quite an interesting little predicament. Because Elliewood's now giving bonus doubler, he's giving no panic, he's giving a whole bunch of stuff, right? The bonus doubler is the main thing. And the bonus doubler is helping massively with all the um with all the stuff going on. Which is fun, honestly. I I love the I love this build. Like, he's he's solid. He's solid. Elliewood is just phenomenal. This was just an extra layer of buffiness. Just to see what would happen. Yeah, it took some tweaking, but I made... I had to do... Yeah, the, the problem is... So, here's the thing, right? When it came to the Arcane build, the Arcane Unity, I switched to attack res unity, mainly because Elliewood's buffing attack, right? Elliewood's buffing every stat. I gave Robin odd res wave, 
to buff Rez. So like, Nagi's getting a ton of stats, and with the Arcane Breath, not only is she getting more defense and res, she's getting more attack power in general because her attack stat's going sky high. I did the math, and it was absolutely crazy. So with that buff, let's see. I'm just gonna let this play out on screen while I try to find this, because this is actually really entertaining to me. So, the Arcane... Okay, so the refined stats with this build, with this teamwork, is 82 attack, 70 defense, and 70 res. The Arcanes is at 105 attack, 81 defense, and 103 res. So 15 true damage from the Arcane Breath actually basically makes it 130 attack versus 82. A difference of 48 damage and a 13 da damage difference with the flow. So not only is the Arcane Breath hitting harder, has true damage, is able to double, so will kill you, but also, also hitting harder with flow. So that's just even more damage output. So if you think, if you could sit there and still tell me that the refine is better than the arcane overall, I mean, power to ya. But that's not the case. I'm telling you that right now. The more support you give the arcane, the more the more support you give in general, the better the arcane is, and the worse the refine gets. And this just proves it. 130 attack with the 15 true damage versus 82, 48 damage difference and 13 damage difference between their flows. Like that is insane amounts of extra damage. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini Nagi refine breakdown video. I, I did a lot of research for this. It took me a lot of time to record and create the charts that you saw before and the ideas behind the builds and especially the Elliewood portion here. I had to balance all the stats out, make sure Nagi had the most attack and was getting everything she needed. The conclusion is and I've said it before and I'll say it again, the more support you give, the better the Arcane is and the worse the refund gets. Hands down. Like, it is not looking good for the refund. And I, put, and I put the best nukes, the units that should be able to just slaughter Deirdre, Dragon Effectiveness, Happy, AoE, and Dragon Effect. Um, Shez has just effectiveness against everything. Veronica has a red nuke. Like, I hate there's a green nuke that can kill damn near anything. And I even did testing with the quadding ability of Haythor. And she still couldn't kill sometimes. She couldn't kill the, uh, Arcane, but she could kill the Refine. Which is absolutely crazy, too. So, like, if you have a quadding Haythor, which more than likely you're gonna be fighting, the arcane will come out on top with support without support i mean they're both gonna die so it doesn't really matter what you do then but with support that's the thing that's the main factor anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did definitely check out my duo i doing one where i was just testing against brave irka um pretty soon here we're gonna have the our favorite heroes of 2022 video popping off pretty soon here um definitely look forward to that i'm excited it's been a long time coming, and I'm so excited to show you guys this video. I love doing these. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. But until next time, this is B-Reader Don signing off. Bye! See you, everybody.